Uh, do you, this is Kaylee. She uh, she's got a film I told you about called uh, the Royal uh, Fantasy, and um, you came up with it in a different class, and you did a pre-production for it. And uh, this is the pre-production class, basically. Um, so if you want to start this off any way you like, uh, share your screen. I've got it set up so okay. you can. So yeah, let me do that. Okay. So, okay. Oh, there we go. First so, story draft. Great. E, let me. Okay. So for my film, I. Well, first, I had to take pre-production, and I took it uh, with Wendy Grebe in the fall of 2021, um, which was a very rigorous but um, fun. Um, right away, she had us come up with three different concepts um, and create some concept art for interesting story ideas, anything that we wanted. Um, and after picking one, uh, we had to start writing our story drafts. Uh, so it was very short, you know, just a couple of paragraphs basically about my idea. Um, after reviewing it, um, I created a second draft, uh, which was more revised, uh, which had more uh, information and uh, as well as story structure. And then towards the end of the class, we had this oral presentation where we basically had to pitch our film to the class. Um, and so I split it up into three acts um, and had a little log line here. Um, and I also was coming up with different title ideas. Yeah, these were really bad names, but they were just, you know, uh, brainstorming ideas that I had. Um, and then I tried to, as best as I could, um, block out the scenes, the different um, shots that I had. There were definitely a lot more than what's written here. But so, yeah, this is some early, uh, I guess, a, an early look into what my film, uh, as, it, as it was taking place, just an early look into that. Um, and then I wrote a brief synopsis for it, um, just because I figured it would make a lot more sense for me to be able to understand um, I guess the full story in a brief sentence. I mean, there's not too much different than the small log line and the synopsis, but um, both both worked for me. And... What, what was the lo uh, log line? What was it? It says. Uh... Okay, so sorry, I'm moving my windows around. Okay. Sorry. Uh, it says my story is about a young princess who feels. Oh wait, never mind. That's not a log line. The actual log line that I had was it's in here somewhere you know what i don't it's think i top. actually had an official log line but pretend but i don't sit my good. story the story is about a young princess who feels suffocated by her royal life in order to escape those feelings of suffocation and inadequacy she confides in her own imagination that was okay. my first go at it that it's a little uh, wordy mm -hmm. um but this is definitely more uh, elaborate. Uh, so it says, a young and misunderstood princess is living as an only child in a royal family. In order to prepare her for leadership, the king and queen are strict towards her. The princess's bright and colorful personality is masked so as to retain a regal appearance. She escapes her stressful life by creating an imaginary portal that takes her to a place where she can just be a kid. Long after her parents find out and destroy her secret hideout, the princess grows up to become both queen and mother to another little princess. Giving By giving her child the freedom that she never had, she gets to experience that same childlike wonder once again. So that's Ooh. definitely more in-depth right. description. Um, and so after, um, right after c coming up with our story and separating it into uh, different acts and scenes, that we had uh i got to work right away on my storyboards and these were super rough first drafts um that i just did in photoshop uh i did not use storyboard pro for this um but i probably should have looking back on it um because <laughs> it was a lot more work than it needed to be but so these were super super rough 
Um, and definitely different than the final uh, storyboards. At first, I had um, I had her make, I had her come sit down and make her portal, and then it poof, it it falls and it breaks, and then she she's like, oh, I'm gonna use the vines to hold it up. So then she does that, and that's a little additional sequence. And then here's her drawing in the air, playing violin. And then uh, king and queen see that broken vase. And then this was a very extreme, <laughs> I guess, reaction from the king. He was going to burn the bush. <laughs> he had just set it on fire. Wow. Um, and she was she's gonna... inside. Look out. Yeah. She's inside. <laughs> and she's all uh, traumatized. So she runs oh, away. Oh, man. <laughs> Um, and then she goes back to bed and then she wakes up the next day and does the whole, the whole, um, routine again, except she's really bored. She's really not having it. She's angry. She, everything is going wrong. Violent snaps, you know, just super, super upset. And then back to sitting on the bench with the parents. And then she just breaks down and cries. And the King is trying to make things all better and then and then he rebuilds it for her and then they make up and and that's the end of the story <laughs> wow. but I thought that was too much yeah. um so Wendy gracefully uh gave me a better idea for the end of the story but so for my website you can actually find my film um on my YouTube channel it's just my full name here um but when it comes to the final storyboards this is what we're looking at here. Oh, it's kind of small, but uh, these are definitely more thought out um, mm -hmm. and more clean. I still kept the sequence of her bumping over the vase um, in the boards. Um, and <laughs> let's see. Yeah, definitely different turn of events here and then ending with the mom and the daughter and yeah so uh definitely a different ending but it, it changed even more in my production class um when because when I'd put the animatic together let's see it three minutes and 20 seconds but I was able to cut it down to uh two minutes and 30 seconds, which meant I had to cut out a lot. But in the end, I was more grateful that I cut out stuff because there's no way I would have been able to finish a three minute film in that amount of time. It was just, it was already a lot. And um, so I, my recommendation is if, I mean, going through the story section and boarding when, it, when you guys get to that phase of development, I would definitely consider story um over I guess I would consider like quality over quantity that's what I mean when it comes to right. story because it I mean I was struggling even with my two minutes and 30 seconds that I had so um I was very thankful that um Professor <laughs> Jim made made me cut a lot of those sections yeah, so it, it took a while we, we were both we were, you, I could see you'd be like oh Mm -hmm. uh, it's hard I, so. I know it is it's very it's hard, hard when you but... get attached to your work yeah, yeah yeah but i mean storyboard being a storyboard artist that's what's going to happen you're mm -hmm. going to be you know working trying to get some set up to show people and then suddenly they start watching it and they're getting it and then they uh no this no 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 let's, uh, let's try if we did this and that and the other and they change mm -hmm. it completely and you're like what what and then you have to go back and, and do it again and again. So, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, this is, this is interesting. Yeah. When, when I remember when you brought it in, there was a lot of, of, uh, what was it? She, yeah. There was just a lot of like waiting around and that was when mm -hmm. she goes into the, 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 I think I kept pushing you to be like, when she makes the, the imagination thing, it's like you show them putting the stuff on her head and, and uh, you mm -hmm. know all that proper stuff, and then it, it disappears. 
And yeah, we, that was very quick. Know, and I remember I said, oh, why don't you have her do fun stuff and this stuff? And you were like, I don't have time. <laughs> this, I mean, I wish I yeah. could have done this sequence as, yeah. I'm not sure if you can see my cursor, probably not. Yeah, yeah, we oh, see you it. Can, okay. Um, I wish I, I really, really wanted her to be able to do more creative uh, things and I guess do whatever the heck she wanted. But mm -hmm. even with, um, you know, all that stuff cut, yeah. um, I think it was still readable. But if I were to go back and uh, change anything or... Uh, add anything else it would definitely be to lengthen this yeah. scene because yeah. it i mean it's the whole point of the short so yeah. um yeah yeah i think definitely i'm sad that i couldn't get to that um but in the end i just i wanted to yeah. be able to say that i that i finished a project and that now i can set it aside and just move on to something else instead of saying well maybe i'll work on it on the summer in the summer right. and maybe i'll finish it later but then I hate the way i did it and you know uh, i don't know i i feel that when i start a project uh for a class and i say oh, i'll finish it later i never do because i i don't like the way that <laughs> it looks mm -hmm. now because uh, there's been improvements since then and so it's like how can i how can i continue working on this i want to redo the whole thing now so yeah. Yeah, I'm just happy that I was able to knock it out when when I could. Yeah. Um, but it's definitely it's got issues. It's it's definitely not perfect. Um, well, yeah, it, there's, it, there's, it works. Yeah. It, yeah. it works for now. I mean, it, it's something that it's a complete story, and it's not. Yeah, it it tells you know it's not like oh no, why did she do that? You know, no, it's not like that at all. It feels like it's a complete story, and it's a nice story. It ends nicely. And uh, you feel that connection between the mom and the the, the child, and you see that you know yeah. she's she's gonna make something better for her kids. Not she's not gonna burn anything down or <laughs> chop anything up. Like Nothing that, crazy so. like that. Yeah, no. yeah. <laughs> so yeah. So these are your original uh, concept art here. Yeah. So for my pre-production class, uh, actually the original for this was done traditionally um i sketched out my idea for a tree portal some something along those lines um and i just really like that idea i don't know i really like uh fantasy settings um i guess magic is really fun so um i just whipped this up and i considered this my concept for the film mm -hmm. and uh, here are some of my backgrounds. There's not all of them are in here, but um, and there's a lot of repetitive uh, backgrounds, so I didn't put them all in here. I mean, these are pretty similar too. Mm -hmm. um, and then for character designs, this is the final uh, look, and she actually has a name, the Princess Lucinda. But mm -hmm. um, and I was thinking of having her name posted up somewhere in her room, but I never got around to that. And mm -hmm. as far as the original. Uh, idea goes this was mm. another piece of concept art that I had just whipped up uh, I guess alongside that uh, cherry tree portal and this mm -hmm. one where they just have very simple round shaped hands but then um, Wendy uh, was like no no they have to have fingers they need to have mm -hmm. phalanges <laughs> and I was <laughs> like okay so uh, this was my next idea um, but then I realized that it was much too complicated to animate. Um, mm -hmm. So it, I mean, she looks fine, but having to rotate her in space was going to be a lot harder because of these mm. buns, these hair yeah. buns. Um, and just the, the detail was just a little too much for me uh, in my skill set. And so this was another concept closer to the final uh, with her hair down, but it's, it's very stylized. It's just a block. Um, mm -hmm. just straight shapes um and then when it came to the final I was like well you know what I'm just gonna have her have a circular head because I can I think I can animate that I think that mm -hmm. that's doable so um yeah I definitely went through several revisions before uh coming to a final character design and I I didn't even end up 
um, designing the parents or having separate sheets for the parents or even for adult Lucinda because that that already would have taken up a lot of time I was really focusing more on the story um but so yeah um and then this is for the production class but I was able to share all of my progress here on my blog um and just some behind the scenes with different timing charts um yeah Mm -hmm. definitely testing a few things and yeah, I was able to finish it actually a week earlier than it, the day that it was due because um, I was more motivated <laughs> because uh, PMC had their film festival, as you already mm-hmm. know, a week before. Mm-hmm. So, and then um, again, this is more production. Do you, do you want me to share? Yeah, sure, sure. Okay. So this is more than the production side. When when av- after the pre-production class, you'll be asked to make a pro production blog and uh scene progress chart and a uh uh, progress uh production schedule which is basically just a big calendar of like how are you going to get from the animatic to the final um Mm -hmm. final thing so but uh yeah let's take a look at that so all right so oh why do i have to open it up in this okay Okay. um to zoom in and yeah so those are the those are the the stages of production right there final animatic and all that stuff going through the block animation rough animation final animation Mm -hmm. all that stuff and then it's just broken down into different uh different weeks and she's uh figured out like okay i'm thinking you know planning and you know contacting us a song artist which you did and um you know all these different color color coded uh stages of production and trying to you know see if they can you know just making a, a deadlines for yourself basically for this whole thing so um mm-hmm. and sometimes that works and sometimes it doesn't sometimes you have to add more to it <laughs> but mm-hmm. it's just a general thing that you kind of helps you stick to it so uh you'll get it done yeah so. it's good to have um mm-hmm. I didn't stick to it fully for sure. Um, yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, uh, I definitely spent more time uh, on rough animation than what was <laughs> put here. Yeah, I know. But, I know. A lot of people is like, oh, two weeks will be fine. It's like, no, maybe two months or <laughs> something like that. But yeah, yeah. So that's the production uh, scene progress chart uh, where she's listed every scene in the film as it goes through the film and she's got the different stages at the top and she's uh put down the dates like when she started or when she stopped or when she just stopped altogether and so now you can take a look at that and you'll know exactly how long uh you know how long did it take you to do that scene you know Mm -hmm. you can just add up the numbers and this is uh is this a good reference to kind of help you learn how you animate and how long it takes and all that stuff I think yeah it's definitely great that I have this here um to be able to know well one to be able to have the habit of logging my hours and my work um and then to be able to have uh proof that I spent this amount of time working on it so definitely yeah. it is helpful to have yeah okay good <laughs> excuse me so you can see how each one of those is just the storyboard um you know panel showing kind of what's happening there and uh how many scenes did you have by the way um 37 37 okay <coughs> excuse me okay. yeah so i think uh yeah, yeah usually, some of these yeah. were put together Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You can combine them too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, But yeah, something in that range of drawings is pretty good. Anything over that, it's getting longer. (laughs) Yeah. Got to be careful of that. But um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, some of these, I didn't know exactly the date. (laughs) So there's question marks there. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Well, that's fine. As long as you kind of get a rough idea of like when you start it and then just kind of throw a 
date in there instead of just an X. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Then you just have it a bunch of X's and you're like, I don't know what that means. So, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Um, it's hard to remember sometimes to log the hours. It's easy to just do the scene yeah. and, then, and then not actually write down when you did it. But yeah, um, it's, it's good. It's a good habit to yeah. be able to know how long it takes for you yeah. to do a scene. And that you way you could tell people I yeah. mean, that you're trying to work for, I guess. Like, this is yeah. how fast I can work. Yeah. If yeah. That makes sense. yeah. Okay. And then can you now, you, can you show the film or do you have it on there? Or? Yeah. Um, I can just go to my YouTube channel here. Oh, it's on there. Huh? Mm-hmm. So is it full screened? Yeah, I see it. Okay. And then does the sound is that good? There it is. Yeah. Awesome. And that's it. Okay. Gonna cancel it. So Sorry, you got is making me laugh. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a little hard to see on my end. It's it's yeah. a little bit choppy, but fuzzy. Yeah. Yeah, but you could go to to your to your. Uh, you have it on um, YouTube. Yeah. There, so they can it's, see it. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's actually also on the Animtune channel uh, from okay. Pencilish Studios. Okay. Uh, they have it on their channel as well. I was able to, I guess, partner with them to have it up. So that's cool. Um, mm -hmm. You can find it there, or you can just find it on my YouTube channel with my name. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys <laughs> could head over to her channel or wherever and then watch it there. You'll see it's a lot, the animation is a lot better than what you probably just saw. So <laughs> uh, <laughs> it, it, it kind of, for me, it was pretty chunky, but you know, yeah. Uh, but no, I that's know how it really looks. looks. Like. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just yeah, kidding. yeah. But it looks really good, and mm -hmm. uh, we've got. Uh, anybody have any questions for Kaylee about his film or or making it? I had a question about how you formed the scenes. Were there any um, like tricks you made when like cutting it down? Um tricks um you know what uh let me go back to my animatic okay so when it came to cutting down 
uh, my film, I think mostly um, uh, it, it was really hard because I was attached to, to the story that I had in my mind. I had this vision um, and Professor Jim was like, well, yeah, we should make it shorter. Um, and uh, I was like, well, I don't really know what to cut down. And so he really helped me narrow it uh, down to stuff that was really essential. So what helped me specifically was uh, uh, being able to ask myself the question, does it still tell the same story and being able to answer yes. Um, so uh, there was a scene that I really liked, um, but it didn't have to be in there. Um, when the princess is sneaking out to the garden, she actually knocks over this vase and it makes a loud noise. I mean, it took up a whole page. It was pretty long. Um, and I guess that that noise startled the parents and that's how they found out about her. But um, when you think about it, it, it wasn't really necessary because um, either way they still could have, I don't know, figured out that she was out at night. And it was just extra time that I didn't need to animate a vase falling over. Um, and when it comes to her like pulling out this paper. Um, uh, I was gonna have her pull it out in the portal and it was gonna be like under a rock or something, uh, but it ended up working out much nicer to have her uh, have the paper actually beforehand in her bedroom. Uh, yeah, see th these boards are way different. I mean, not way different, but they're definitely different <laughs> than right. um, then the final and and there was a sequence where she was playing violin and she was in a classroom and she was doing all these boring daily tasks and uh what was more essential was that I mean real princess boring stuff I mean she didn't really need to be in the classroom um but definitely having your books on the head is a stereotype I, I don't know I feel like most Disney princess movies they're they're carrying books on their heads so I kept that in there and um uh, I took out things that just didn't really, they didn't really add or take away anything from the story. So it just, it made sense to cut them for time's sake, like time's sake, meaning like the time frame that I had. If I did have more time, I would love to include those things. Uh, but my goal was to actually finish the project. So, I mean, you can always finish it on your own time, but I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah, just being able to ask yourself the question does the story still, uh, is it still solid? Can it stand on its own without these scenes? That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it does sense. it add anything? Yeah. So, yeah. Very Sophia the first, yes. <laughs> Any other questions? Questions, come on um, guys. I have a question. Sure. So like, um, okay. So you said like you got like a music, like a music developer or something like that. Where exactly did you like get the person and or some or like did you get mm -hmm. like free music or was it actually like someone who actually produced it? Ooh, that's, that's a, a really idea. great question. Yeah. Um, actually, uh, when I was looking for different, uh, I guess types of music that I wanted, um, people in my class, my peers in the Discord were like, "Hey, I, I look. I've been looking on." Um, uh, Newgrounds. I know it's really unconventional, I guess, but uh, I checked it out and I actually found some really good, um, really good uh, artists and composers on there that were willing to share their work. Uh, I know, uh, given that you asked them, of course. So it depends um, on well, what the song is, who the composer is, um, where you find it. So I actually found mine on Newgrounds and I can actually uh, find the artist. Uh, so I have him linked in, do, 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 in the video. Okay. Do, do, do. So Shout Young is his full name, but I I know him as Vocal Outburst online, and that's how I found him. Um, simply 
put um when I was looking on new grounds and I uh I found the song and I, I paired it up with my animatic I was like oh this is great so I looked at the description of the song and it, it said specifically uh written by him that uh you're free to use uh as my songs as long as you ask basically and so I reached out to him and he was like yeah of course so then I was like oh great so I got to use it and of course I've credited him um and I haven't made any money off of this so um I haven't had to pay him yet but I'm assuming that um if it does make any money that I'm gonna give him a percentage of that so because it was a original song from him not that he made it for this but um I haven't heard it anywhere else so um yeah, I mean, you can look anywhere for songs. Um, as far as sound effects, I really used, I don't, I don't even remember, it was soundeffects.org and freesound. Oh, yeah, freesound, yeah. That's a free, mm -hmm. freesound.org, you can get that, and uh, there's tons of sound effects, and there's some music in it, too. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, you just kind of write your description of what you're thinking about, and it'll come up with a bunch of different choices for you and you yeah. can usually download that as a wave file or an mp3 or something like that mm -hmm. um but um yeah yeah that was a good question because um it's really tricky finding music that you will yeah. get a copyright strike for so yeah um <clears throat> or you can compose the song yourself <laughs> yeah just kidding and that's it's good that you you're gonna give him some money when you do get some money because that's a that's a nice uh, gesture. Uh, I remember when I had a um, I did a when my student film. I I had a friend that that knew a mu musician and and he did some music on his films. And I asked him, "What would you like to you know do my film?" And so what I did is basically just gave him my film to a certain point where it was a, like a real finalized like pencil test and I didn't have some scenes finished. And then when I did finally get everything done in color and everything, I was able to hand it to him and just uh, let him go with it and start <laughs> composing and telling, you know, talking to the composers more like, you know, well, they can usually look and see what you want to do but it's good to have you you know give them some feedback like uh well you know i want to have like kind of like the princess's theme you know whenever we see her and then when this happens i want this to be a little bit more you know scary or whatever and, and just give them little kind of general direction like that and then just let them you know see what they can do and then once they do something you can decide if it's too much one way or too little another way you can just ask them you know like you know uh seems a little bit much here a little fast here or that but i tell you usually musicians are really awesome at, at at looking at something and then seeing the music and just putting something down and and i tell you when it it works it's amazing so um i really liked his his music too in this i thought it went really well uh, mm -hmm. with this so yeah, in his description for it, he was going for a Studio Ghibli vibe, um, mm -hmm. and I think he nailed it. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, but now, yeah, you you said you you put this into Anim. What is it? Anim Tune or what is yeah. it? Yeah. So so uh, how did how did that come about? Well, Pencilish Studios, uh, which is a independent uh, mm -hmm. uh, animation company founded by Tom Bancroft, uh, he's a Disney animator, which you probably know of. Um, it, they had a call for submissions for um, student short films. And I guess uh, it's their way, uh, and they call the program Animtune. And I'm guessing it's their way of uh, promoting young talent, I guess, student work, um, getting them uh, different types of exposure um, and posting it on YouTube and uh, paying the directors for it. So if it makes money, um, I guess it's just a way to, most films are accepted. Um, I've seen a lot of great stuff there. 
Um, but now they have their own YouTube channel, so they just migrated over, and my film was the first one to be on that lineup. So um, I didn't have to deal with transferring over from the Pencilish channel to the Animtune channel. But mm. um, yeah, I think uh, it it wasn't. It's not really a contest or anything. Um, it's more of just, uh, hey, we're gonna promote your film, and this is this artist's work and uh you can check out all their stuff here their portfolio their social medias uh description of the film i submitted my concept art and uh film posters and they use that with their marketing team i guess to promote the program so yeah okay so how how many people have seen it so far do you know uh on their channel yeah i it they don't have a ton of subscribers. They've only oh. got maybe like 300 because they just started the channel. Oh, okay. Um, so mine's only got like 100 views. But um, I think their goal is to expand and to grow more. It's nothing big, but it's just fun mm -hmm. to have my film in other places mm -hmm. um, and to be able to do that for free, basically. I mean, why not? <laughs> yeah, right, right. So, free marketing yeah exactly <laughs> getting paid for it kind of if mm. yeah so yeah that that's the whole idea behind that and um, uh as far as uh competitions go um i didn't submit to too many because it is expensive really expensive <laughs> <laughs> but i did submit to the uh student academy and didn't make it but that's okay at least i tried so mm -hmm. and uh it won a couple of awards and nominations um mm -hmm. and i'm not sure i'll submit it to another uh competition you could try and, for and, like i don't know well uh you could try for the sifa hollywood they usually have uh they have a website and they're always looking for uh yeah for films to show like okay. people like what you can do and if you're not a member of that you should get become a member because that will help you you know meet more people because <laughs> they all right that's a, that's a yeah you see for hollywood's in 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 uh, la and they put on the annie awards every year mm -hmm. and uh you also get if you're a member you get to um get screeners of uh you know, get links to uh, movies. You can actually get invited to films uh, that are coming out and you get to meet some of the filmmakers or at least hear them talk about the films, things mm -hmm. like that. And it's uh, it's a real good way to kind of meet other artists and, and things. Like that. And, it's, and if you can save up the money to go to like the actual Annie Awards, then on one night you will meet everybody in the animation industry. <laughs> uh walking around eating food mm -hmm. and drinking wine and all that stuff so um, wow. it just happened last uh last saturday and uh i got to meet uh uh don uh what was it uh tom kenny and uh guillermo nice. del toro and uh uh the guy named uh uh mark gustafson who I worked with him at Vinton Studios in Portland, and he was a director there. And then now he's co-directed Pinocchio with uh, Guillermo del Toro. So, um, wow. yeah, so that's how that works. And uh, there's other people I met. I actually met um, uh, this group of people called Tokyo House that did uh, Uni the um, Thunder God, which is a really interesting little stop motion mm -hmm. film and um yeah so it's a, it's a pretty cool cool place to be uh and it's it's they do have student memberships so uh you might want to check that out so okay definitely yeah, yeah i saw um woody and chuck grieb went to the mm -hmm. awards as well so no oh, okay um, yeah 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 that's awesome i mean yeah. it's it seems intimidating to uh have well, to talk it, in me to so many people mm, yeah, it's <laughs> but, not so it's not so bad you know because they're there just to have a good time and they they're meeting people that they've worked with and and if you are a student you are you are you have clout 
the, believe it or not, they used to be a student too. And they like when students come up to them and say, hi, I'm, I'm here. I'm, you know, from Fullerton, you know, I, I'm an animation student. I really enjoy your work, blah, blah, blah. That's great. You know, I mean, they're not, I think I only met one person who was kind of a, kind of a jerk, but, uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. but that was only one. The rest of them are pretty nice. And as long as you let them eat and, uh, you know, don't <laughs> get in their way, you're okay. But, uh, you know, uh, yeah, I met the guy who did the, um, I mean, it was, it's like, it's, it's, it's just, ah, it's just like I walked up and I got in line to like, you know, just to, first thing, first person I met was the guy who did this uh, film called the, the boy, the, I'm going to mess it up. The boy, the, was it the boy, the mole, the fox and the horse? I think <laughs> that's the name of it, which is a uh, uh, Netflix, I believe uh short it's up for the academy award and this guy's from england he's a he's a an author from england and um it's a really mm. good film it's about friendship and like the different characters that meet each other it's a very slow movie but it's also it's in 2d and it's kind of got a 3d I've feel seen, to it i've seen clips yeah. from it actually online i haven't actually yeah. seen it but i've seen like the animators that post their um, right. shots from I've it i've seen um, it oh sorry I've seen yeah. it, it. It hit me hard with all that dialogue. Like, yeah, it's kind of like I don't know. It's a really deep movie. Or it is movie, yeah, especially with all that dialogue. But it's just it's so beautifully animated and just. Right. I just oh my god, I loved it. It made me cry. Yeah. It was, oh, it was amazing. And did, and did anybody see uh, Marcel the shell with shoes? Yes, on? I love I, that movie. I, I got to meet Marcel. <gasps> Marcel himself. Yeah, wow. here, here, let me show you. Uh, if you unshare your screen, sure. I think I got it here. Oh, Hold on. Were were they very tiny? <laughs> he's bigger. On? He's bigger than I thought. I thought he'd be really <laughs> small. I don't know what it is. I guess the power of movies. But uh, yeah, he's he's. Uh, let's see, where did he go? Here, let me find him. So that's my daughter. That's Tennessee in the middle. And uh, that's me Aww. pointing to Marcel, who is oh, that's over. So cute. That's so cool. There he is. Oh, there's Marcel. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. That's yeah, so cool. Is. is he actually like made out of clay or like what exactly is he made of? He's a shell and he has an eye. <laughs> and he has, two, okay, so. he has two feet and a little smile. Okay. So uh, actually, the actress was there who who's his voice, and uh, mm -hmm. she's if and believe it or not, she's in another movie which I was like, oh my god, that's her. Uh, did anybody see the one with uh, uh, was it everything all at once? Every she's in everything everywhere all at once. I love yeah, she, you too. she she was the one with the dog. You know, oh my big, gosh, the latest, oh like, really? That was nose. her. That was oh, her. Yeah, she's, she's done a lot of stuff. Oh yeah, so she's uh, Marcel the Shell's voice, and I guess this movie took like uh, several years to to be made. Um, mm -hmm. It was uh, yeah, it was like he she said it was like something like eight years for them or seven years to get Whoa. this up and running, and it started off as a a YouTube, YouTube yeah. yeah YouTube video, and it just kind of get bigger. And um, did it, anybody else see this movie? uh no it's very obscure i feel it's like. really fun yeah. it's pretty funny i you really have, want to you should i think you'd like it jason i think everyone would like it it's it's a very i mean to explain it would be just a you know just a pointless to explain it you have to actually watch it it's an experience it is exactly. it is and it's just so funny because um well, i'm not gonna say, say it because i didn't cute. even know anything about it I, I heard about it and I'm like, what is this about a shell? What? And then I saw mm -hmm. the, the design. I'm like, but then to actually see it move around and how they do everything, it's it's really well done. So uh, mm -hmm. a lot, lot of fun stuff in there. And Agreed. Um, so definitely check that out. So um, I remember, yeah, when it was what my experience seeing it was, um, I really want to see it, but I, I didn't know 
where it like no theaters were showing it it was like nowhere so I I drove like an hour or so to like a random theater that I'd never been to just to go see it and it was worth it I would say it was oh, worth good. it yeah good good so I feel like it wasn't playing anywhere like it was there and then it was gone like right yeah. yeah it's an independent little yeah film and it um but yeah it's it's gotten a lot of su success it was it's actually was voted the uh, uh, best in indie uh animated film uh for this year from uh at the uh, annie awards so um but it's up for uh it's up for the academy award too so it'll be interesting um any but any questions any other questions for kylie here Come on, you guys. Like, what about your films? No huh? worries. It's okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. So anyway, okay. Well, uh, any uh, so Kylie. Well, anyway, I I don't think anyone has anything else to say. Uh, but if they want to contact you, you're still at, at uh, school, right? Or are you? Yes, I. This is, yeah, this final... is my last semester. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So you can actually see you in person. Mm -hmm. on campus okay. wow wow all right yeah okay. so it i mean maybe i even have classes with some people in here i don't know <laughs> yeah that's true and this semester i wanted to but uh, with five studio classes i'm i don't know there's just a lot of time uh wow. that i have dedicated to my classes so i don't know um but yeah. making connections uh is relatively easier when i know uh a lot of mutual people and mutual classes it seems like everybody is getting into the classes that um that they can get into like we'll take what we can get and so like i'm seeing so many of the same people in my classes it's like mm -hmm. oh you could get into this class too okay great <laughs> so yeah, yeah. we're okay. all uh living the same life i guess right right Okay. Well, anyway, it's great that you had you came on and you just let us, you know, see your film and, and hear about how you put it all together and everything. Um, yeah, thank you yeah, for having thanks. me. Yeah. Uh, this is great. Good luck, everybody, with um, your films if you're going to continue pursuing that. So. Well, yeah, yeah, you have to kind of see in the semester, you got to have something. So, yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, <laughs> next semester, if they want. Oh, right, 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 right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. I mean, good luck writing your stories and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Okay.